Good morning. Welcome to bright and sunshiny Winnipeg. I haven't checked the weather yet, but I think it's going to be a nice day. And earlier this morning I was looking at the Google Maps and I was, uh, the reason being is I was thinking earlier, I have not been out to the St. Andrews Airport, which is a sort of a secondary airport here in Winnipeg. And uh, I'm thinking it's probably about 30 or more years ago since I was actually out there. And uh, I thought maybe that might be a, a good trip to go on the bike. So I was just checking to see if the route was still going to be the same as I remembered it. And it, and it is. It's apparently it's chained out th changed out there. When I, when I got my uh, pilot's license here years ago, I, I went with an outfit called the Winnipeg Flying Club. It was an old club, been around for many years. My dad got his pilot's license with it. Back when the International Airport, when, at that time it was called Stevenson Field, but dad said that he, when he used to land, and I think he started out in what was called a tiger moth. <laughs> yeah. Some of you might know what that is. Anyway, that's, that was how we started his training. And he said, when you landed, you, you would come in and you, you would land anywhere on the field. Like it was, it was all grass and you could, you could always land directly into the wind. <laughs> Yeah, and he said you had to watch out for the haystacks. <laughs> yeah, them was the days. Yeah, it's all changed now. If I was to try and, uh, well, first of all, I, I couldn't pass the uh, the medical. I'm sure of that. So I'm, I'm not even going to try to, you know, reclaim my, my license. Um, and plus it's expensive. It's real expensive. Yeah, mind you, it was expensive then too when I got my license. I guess it started around the end of the 60s and the beginning of the 70s. I think it was around 71, I actually took my flight test and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I thought it might be for nostalgic reasons, I might like to go out there and just see what I recognize. Um, the, uh, they got a little cafe out there, maybe I'll go in and have a cup of coffee. I'll, I'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it might be kind of fun to go out there on the on the motorbike today. That's that's the plan. That's what I'm thinking right now. Now it could be that later this afternoon, after I get today's episode of the model ship uh, uploaded onto YouTube, I'm I'm just not going to feel like it anymore. So you know, but that's how I feel right now. Uh, I was noticing I I was I think I was said yesterday I got these pieces all trimmed up. And I was noticing afterwards I I forgot some of these. Now these are going to go real fast, like I mean, a piece like that's only going to take about a minute to, to clean up, get the flashing off. Now, here's the thing, I was thinking, okay, now I've got to paint all these little parts, I'll probably spray them because it, that'll be the nicest job. And I thought, okay, so I'll take them all into the back, and then I'll get my paint off the rack that I'm going to use. And I'm realizing now that moving my spray booth to the back room was not a good idea because half of it is back there, well the main part of it is back there, but the, the painting supplies and all that sort of stuff is up here. Because I like it handy so I can, I can just sort of, you know, reach up and grab something if I want to, you know, touch up something with a little brush. So I'm thinking I'm going to move my spray booth back. I don't know where I'm going to put it, maybe I'll make a a stand for it that's exactly the same height as the table. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of wheels and casters and all that kind of stuff in the basement. I, you know, I could, I could make that, make it up for nothing. It's just a case of I have to go down and do it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you can see it, but but over over there, let's see, maybe I can swing you around here. Okay, you see that that shiny thing to the left of the window? That, that that's that's actually that, that that's actually a uh, TV antenna. I don't need that. I haven't used that in years. Get rid of it. You know, maybe I could. And, and the fireplace, it's a, it's sort of all. I was going to say boarded up. I, I haven't used the fireplace in years. Uh, so uh, you know, I could put I could put a, something there that would. You know, that I could get the uh, spray booth up out of the way. 
Um, see, the, the problem was the way I had it before. Um, oh, let, let, let me adjust you here so that you can see out the window. There. Uh, one of the viewers some years ago said he likes to look out the window in the morning. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. It's a nice morning to look out, I'll tell you. Yeah, I was outside talking to my neighbor. He was uh, <clears throat> coming back from Timmy's. Now, if you're, if you're a Canadian, you know what Timmy's is. Timmy's is Tim Hortons. And uh, Tim Hortons is a well-known Canadian franchise here in Canada. And uh, so we, we, here in Canada, we call it Timmy's. So he was on his way back from Timmy's with uh, with his large black or whatever, <laughs> and, and a double-double, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I was talking to him, and he was saying that the weather is supposed to get nasty in the next couple of days. So I better get out today if I'm going to. Uh, all right, enough about the weather, enough about the painting and moving the spray booth. Uh, I haven't seen the walkers yet. They're due to come by any minute, actually. Uh, and the sunrise this morning might be nice. I was uh, a couple of hours ago when it first started getting rosy and I was kind of watching it every once in a while. I thought, hey, that might make a nice time lapse. And if it, if it does, I'll, and if I still feel like doing it, I'll stick it at the end of today's episode. Now, uh, yeah, I think the thing for me to do right now is to, is to, is to finish uh, trimming the flashing off of these parts. I did this one and uh, uh, then just then decide what am I going to do about that spray booth because if, if I want to spray this stuff I uh, maybe the thing to do is to spend an hour or two and make my stand up and uh, and get that booth back here. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do right now. Anyway, about the Amato, uh, I have not heard anything to the contrary that it's not going to be coming. Okay, that's all I can tell you. Once it's here, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to give you all the details as to what happened. But it, it looks like there's a real good chance we're going to have a Yamato on the model table. Well, actually, it'll, it'll be in the back. It, it'll be, that's the Yamato table. Uh... So uh, that's the plan. But as I've often said, life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's... Uh, oh, I'm just going to clean these parts up and think about what I'm going to do. Okay, now 
are just three more. And we got it. These nippers, by the way, uh, they've stood up really well. We're on our uh, fourth model now, and I've used them a lot. They stood up really, really well. I am I am using the uh, uh, these ones here though for for the rough work. I make a point of doing it. Um, yeah, if you remember uh, one of the one of the viewers who wishes to remain anonymous uh, uh, sent me these. So that was kind of nice. And uh, I've had, uh, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it, and I don't know if you can read it, but it, it's, it says, I think it's, it's, it's Klin Tools, K-L-E-I-N. And my experience has been that they make a good quality tool. Um, Okay, I'm just going to continue on here. Uh, I, I, I will have to say that they do not nip as close or as flush as, as these Tamiya nippers do. These, these are fantastic. They may not be the best in the world, but they're the best I've ever used. You almost don't need to send that, that little connection. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just going to continue on here. Okay, so what's happened here now? I probably spent the last hour or more disassembling the old TV antenna, which I should have done years ago. Never, never used it. I, I even, I've given away my TV. <laughs> Don't need an antenna anymore. I watch everything on, online. Anyway, I kept uh, most of the f fasteners, you might call it, or fittings. Anything that I thought that maybe in the future I might need or want, think I need. And uh, yeah, there's, I, I was amazed at how many little bolts with wing nuts there was. Uh, yeah, and uh, this thing here, I don't know if I'll ever be able to use that, but you know, I'll remember that I got it. Now, this is the base from the pole lamp. People don't use pole lamps anymore unless they have an LED lighting in, in, in it instead of the old 300 watt incandescent bulb. Uh, yeah, so I was going to throw it all out. And, uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I might need this base for something. And I was sitting here in my chair looking at it and thinking, what, what, what would I ever use that for? And then I remembered a reply that I had made to military modeler Paul this morning in the, in the comments. And uh, he had suggested what, what I need for my bike box is a uh, cottage hook, to, you know, like a hook and eye to, to hold the door open so that the wind doesn't blow it shut when I'm, when I'm gone. And I think I replied back to something to the effect of that uh, my grandmother used to use an old stone that she had sewn a, an oil cloth around and she used that to block a door that had a tendency to swing shut that she wanted to keep open in the old farmhouse. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking that I, I, I would, if I could get a, I said something about if I had a weight, and I was thinking if it had a, a handle on it so I don't have to bend over to pick it up. And all of a sudden, when I'm just about ready to throw this, this thing out, I thought, hey, not, like this is, this is really heavy. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, I don't know if that's lead, it's probably steel. Anyway, that this would be really good because what I can do is I, I can set it down in front of the door and I, I can grab it up at the top. I don't need to bend down to pick it up. Yeah, okay, so we got that. Uh, anyway, another thing I came across was 
on some of these uh, nuts they had little little uh, o-rings I guess to keep the, the the nut from unscrewing when it's rattling around in the box or something I don't know anyway I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking <clears throat> That looks about the same size as the as the O-ring that I lost in my airbrush. Oh, must be about a year ago now. If you remember when I was cleaning the airbrush with a high-pressure hose, I blew the ring out and it went flying who knows where. I'll probably come across it when I'm throwing everything out here. Well, I don't think I'll be doing it, but somebody might be. Anyway, uh, so just for the fun of it, I, I'm going to go get the airbrush and uh, we'll, we'll see if it'll fit. You know, wouldn't that be nice? Because right, right now, well, I'll, I'll get the airbrush and I'll explain. Okay, I was thinking I may as well leave my airbrush up here because I'm probably going to be moving everything back to the model table. All right, now, here's the thing. I'll, uh, I'll move you in here a little bit. Now, there used to be an O-ring right in the bottom there. And when I was blowing with the nozzle, it, it blew it out. And I didn't, I don't think I even saw which way it went. It just went so fast. So w what I was hoping is that, that this will go down in there and be about the right size so that when we take the cup, which I have been using, um, uh, what do you call this stuff? The, the, this, this, uh, Plum, plumbers, plumber stuff. Yeah, okay. I've been using that, and and it's it seems to have worked pretty good. But but let's just let's just try this here now. Is this going to seem to be the right? Well, maybe I should get that old plumber's uh, uh, gasket or whatever off. I I've got a feeling from the feel of this that that this is going to actually work. Um, it might be a smidgen too small. I'm trying to hold it so you can see it. If I can poke it down with something here, maybe maybe Tony's tweezers, just sort of. You know, I I, I think that's, I think that's going to actually work. It's a little bit loose. But the main thing is, as long as it as long as it seals at the bottom, when when they when this goes all the way down, uh, the only other thing might be is to double it up. Would that, would that work? No, I think that's too thick. Okay. Anyway, you you get the idea. Let's let's not uh, beat this to death here. Okay, we're back. And what I did was I I removed the uh plumber's tape. Uh Oh, sure. Now now that I'm trying to show you on camera it's not going to work. And any anyway, the, the bottom line is that here we go. That yes, it it does seal. I can you can I can feel it there. You know, it's getting kind of spongy, and and yes, the 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 uh, O-ring is too small, but it seals where it counts. And uh, I just have to remember when I'm cleaning the airbrush, you know, to to take this thing out of there because it it, it it'll blow out again. Um, okay. Okay, here's what's been happening. I uh, took those five pieces, these gussets, and I, I glued them in place. And I'm hoping that I can get the number, I think it's 338, that this has to be all painted. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to angle the airbrush in and get get it so it be looks believable. Uh, I got it mounted on the bottom of a Paint jar with uh, Mac. I'm gonna say Mac tack, uh, blue tack, and uh, all all our little pieces here 
are, are fastened down on um, upturned masking tape. I, some of them I use the double-sided tape, like this one here that is very, very precarious. It's just sort of balanced on a pinpoint, you might say. So I'm hoping it's not going to blow over. We're not going to be doing any airbrushing today. Um, um, the weather's still nice. I want to get out. Tomorrow is supposed to be really bad, according to the weather people. Uh, yeah. Oh, no Missy the dog today. I'm sorry. What happened was she came by, I went out, gave her the dog cookie, and suddenly realized I don't have the camera. So, hey, tomorrow. Should probably be soggy tomorrow because it's supposed to be rainy and stormy. There's actually a, uh, an alert out. It's supposed to be pretty bad. So we'll see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to call her quits here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not that late, but uh, for, because of things that I want to do this afternoon yet, it's, it's kind of late. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Oh, the, uh, the sunrise should be next. I actually haven't uh, processed it yet, so I don't know how, how bad or good it is. So uh, it is what it is. We'll see you tomorrow.